Back in Scotland, managed to stay open um, during the Second World War. And even now, with COVID, we, we were closed for three months. But that's the only time in Beck and Scott history that we've actually been closed. Her Majesty the Queen came three times um, and one time was the day before her eighth birthday and Queen, we got pictures of Queen Mary and the two princesses and um, we like to think that um, they enjoyed it and every year we send them our brochure and we would love to get the Queen back and we, we do try but we'd love, I'd die a happy man if we could do that. Probably the, like, everyone has to book online now because we didn't even have online bookings before but now everybody has to so that has made a big difference. Um, it's quite good in a way because we know how many people are going to come in every day and at what time um, but yeah we've had to turn away a few people who haven't booked and don't realise they have to. like this when people are uncertain and they're stressed doing something you've done before which was happy and coming back and doing it a second time it um, it's reimagining those times again and it has today I am calm I have de-stressed I want to start getting out and you know exploring let's say different sort of things like this and I think this sort of is good as well because it's not something that I would have usually done but because of Covid and what you're limited to I think a lot of people now are thinking of doing different things and escaping what they'd normally do which I think is really good and I think that's why yeah people sort of still come here even after all these years it's just really lovely. Um, I was trying to have a look at things that are more outdoorsy because that's the only thing we could do at the moment. Um, but this just is, is perfect. Probably I would have gone to somewhere indoor as well, like maybe or a theme park. But because this was quite local, it was just perfect.